they can go through the ch uh, checking scheme and easily without affecting the enthusiasm to sign up for volunteering. You and Dong Yi. Members' motion of no legislative effect. Mr. Pun Xiuping will move a motion on policy on unemployment loan. Two members will move amendments to the motion. This council will proceed to a joint debate on the motion and the amendments. Later, I will first call upon Mr. Pun Xiuping to speak and move the motion. Then I will call upon Mr. Lok Shou Hong and Mr. Vincent Zhang to speak in sequence, but they may not move their amendments at this stage. The joint debate now begins. Members who wish to speak, please press the request to speak button. I now call upon Mr. Pun Xiuping to speak and move the motion. President, I move that the motion is printed on the agenda be passed. This council urges the administration to formulate a sustainable policy on an employment loan, and prior to that, the government should continue the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme to help the unemployed and alleviate their financial pressure. As early as last year, when this um, session of the council resumed, I applied for a slot to discuss the to debate the uh, uh, um, unemployment loan. And then in February this year, the budget, uh, the financial secretary announced in his budget the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme (PLGS). I considered whether I should change my debate subject as. In view of that, but then I decided to proceed with this debate on the policy on the unemployment loan. The reason is because the financial secretary's uh, PLGS will only last uh, for six months, and there is not a sustainable policy to support the unemployed. Mr. Paul Chan, the financial secretary, announced the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme starting from the 28th of April this year to the 27th of October this year. Those who are unemployed could apply for the loan. In his blog, the financial secretary said that uh, in the first three days uh, of uh, the application period, uh, some several thousand applications were received. And the pe most of these applicants came from the logistics and transportation section, sector, retail sector, and catering sector. It shows that uh, there is um, a positive response to the scheme, and that means there is strong demand for such loans. Also, I learned that um, there are views in the community, and in particular criticisms, that instead of um, uh, providing an employment loan, the government should provide an employment assistance in uh, for this debate, uh, different uh, parties have uh, um, moved amendments on employment and employment assistance. Now there is um, rapid global transformation. So, um, jobs are becoming increasingly insecure. Whether we have this um, pandemic or not, we need a policy to support uh, employees. This is a matter of urgency. Now, there are several ways to support the unemployed now. Uh, well, either it's the unemployment assistance or the unemployment insurance, or uh, it's in the form of this personal loan guarantee scheme proposed by the government. Now, whichever model we go for, um, we need to pay for assistance uh, to the unemployed. If we pay an unemployment assistance, that means we need to pay from the public coffers, so it will be a uh, um, commitment for the community as a whole. As for unemployment insurance, it involves contributions from employers and employees. In comparison, uh, unemployment loan uh, means there is a lower social cost. At the same time, it could help to address the pressing needs of uh, the unemployed especially their financial needs. Now, there are people who complain that with an uh, employment loan, people will have to repay the loan. Now, I support an employment loan, but um, before the government makes a major assessment to their public um, finance management um, policy, I believe an employment loan is a feasible way forward. So. For the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme proposed by the financial secretary, how can we make sure it will uh, remain a standing scheme? That is really the very key of my motion today. Now, if government officials would uh, undertake to 
continue to uh, show the commitment for the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme and its scheme will not uh, uh, be terminated soon, then that will be great. But of course, uh, probably we cannot be that optimistic. Therefore, it is important that the government formulates a sustainable policy on an employment loan. This is something we must tackle. Well, perhaps I could provide some food for thought. Um, earlier, I suggested the government could uh, uh, make use of the MPF um, uh, account of employees as collateral in um, continuing with the uh, uh, loan scheme. Now, I hope the government will consider it carefully. For the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme, um, I understand that uh, it is the uh, Hong Kong MC Insurance Limited that's the scheme administrator. It adopts a liberal approach in processing uh, documents uh, submitted by applicants. This is to make sure that the loan scheme would be more effective in helping the unemployed. I commend the uh, Hong Kong MC Insurance Limited for this approach. I hope the government will st um, step up uh, publicity so maybe some who think they are not eligible, uh, such as um, part-time workers, freelancers, or casual workers, they will know they're actually eligible for the loan as well. There is another problem with this uh, loan guarantee scheme. There is a um, backlog of uh, applications, so applicants are not uh, given loans soon enough. There are various reasons probably for the backlog. Uh, and of course, it has to do with manpower resources. Another issue is whether uh, doc all documents required are submitted in one go. In any case, I hope every application will be processed quickly, because then uh, applicants will be given a definite reply soon enough. And this will offer much reassurance to the jobless. Before I finish my speech, uh, I would like to thank the Financial Secretary again for making this commitment to the unemployed. As I mentioned, the this is a six months uh, personal loan guarantee scheme. It may seem a um, tiny step forward, but this is actually a major breakthrough um, and an important step towards uh, reforming the social welfare policy. I speak uh, to move the motion. I hope members will support my motion. Thank you. And I'll put the question to you that uh, Mr. Pun Siu Ping's motion be passed. Mr. Michael, look. Thank you, President. I'd like to speak on the motion moved by Mr. Pun Siu Ping on policy on unemployment loan. I'm moving amendments on behalf of the FTU. Now, with the um, Black Cat riots and the COVID-19 pandemic, the past years have been tough for the for for employees. Uh, the, the first there was the social turbulence, and then the economy was hard hit too by both the turbulence and the pandemic. Another problem is, of course, um, uh, some government officials are out of touch with reality. Uh, one of the secretaries is like uh, living in a cloud. Now, uh, we're told recently by a secretary that uh, the unemployment rate is uh, slowly improving. Uh, soon there will be an announcement of the latest unemployment uh, figure. And very soon we're going to go back to the unemployment rate of the previous year. So that's a um, you know that's painting a rosy picture. But then the Secretary for Labour and Welfare said that we're not going to set up unemployment assistance if people have a need. They could apply for the CSSA because he doesn't see an optimistic um, development. He thinks that uh, from past experience, uh, it, it will take a long time for the economy to recover to the previous level. Uh, that's the experience from SARS and so on. So one secretary is uh, painting a rosy picture. The other secretary is saying that uh, things are not. Uh, looking up at all. So one is saying that uh, don't ask me for an employment assistance. The other is saying, well, well, fine, everything's going to be fine soon. And then, um, and going back to the Secretary for Labour and Welfare, he says that it's not possible for the government to be paying employment assistance for several years. 
Now, I'm asking for uh, temporary unemployment assistance for just six months, so it's uh, temporary. It's just to provide concrete assistance to job the jobless uh, for six months. And if they still couldn't uh, tie it over the certificates, then maybe they could apply for CSSA. So it's just for six months. Why wouldn't the government do it? I think the government will be take a cautious approach in looking at the global economic outlook. You can see around the world, the economic outlook is not that good. Um, we, there are geopolitical uh, risks and other f uh, risks involving the financial systems or monetary systems. For example, in the uh, U.S., could, could, uh, could they trigger a monetary crisis? Uh, it's possible, but then we'll have imported inflation. It will lead to a further downturn of our economy. So there are various factors that uh, don't uh, paint a rosy picture for our economy. Another problem, of course, the economy, uh, uh, the, the, the epidemic remains in a state of flux. Uh, the vaccination rate is only just 20 percent uh, on the mainland. Things are looking good. Very soon, probably they could achieve a 70 to 80 percent vaccination rate. So Hong Kong may become the only place in a country with a low vaccination rate. Of course, there's Taiwan too. Taiwan has a uh, on comparatively a lower vaccination rate. I have more faith in Macau, probably their vaccination rate will be higher. So anyway, it seems that Hong Kong uh, will become a weak link in the fight against the pandemic. And then there's no way um, cross-boundary travel could resume. And w when cross-boundary cannot resume, we can't see any recovery, say, in the retail and catering sectors. And even if the uh, you know activities resume, pay the pay would not be as good as before, and then and many workers may have exhausted their savings. They have to rely on uh, on loans uh, to make ends meet. Of course, the uh, financial secretary has rolled out this hundred percent personal loan guarantee scheme. It is another option, but then the amount is to, uh, on the low side, and people have to repay the loan in any case. So that's why the best way is a an unemployment assistance. You know, maybe adults could go without food. What about children? We're talking about a whole family. All uh, need to be fed. I hope the secretary wouldn't, you know, just, um, you know, pin his hope on his uh, childhood dream. Uh, uh, he, he should uh, be in touch with reality. I hope you will really uh, look at the pressing needs of the public. You have to exhaust all possible options to give them support, you know, and employment assistance and so on, because, you know, like the aviation sector or, or tourism sector, employees are really suffering. And as uh, Mr. Poon Siu point, Pings pointed out, you should extend the 100% loan, personal loan guarantee scheme too. Thank you. Mr. Vincent Chen. Thank you, President. First, I would like to thank Mr. Poon Siu Ping for moving this debate. Well, currently, when the economy is contracting and high unemployment, the government come up with this 100% uh, personal loan guarantee scheme can help those in need. I also move an amendment hoping the government to, besides the uh, unemployment loan, also launch the unemployment assistance uh, for all for better unemployment protection. Under the COVID-19 pandemic, Hong Kong's economy was prevented with rising unemployment rate. Even though the things slightly improved in the past six months, unemployment rate from 72% is hiked to 6.4%. There's numbers are encouraging. However, we can't overlook that there's still a quarter of a million out of work. The unemployment work is still at uh, 130,000 people. For those in uh, economic deep water, uh, is at new high. The government um, inject fifteen billion to launch the hundred percent personal loan guarantee scheme. For those who are bringing on bankruptcy or those uh, who are running short on cash, this it could be a lifeline. I asked the government for some figures that uh, from the twenty eighth of April application to the present, the government has approved uh, nine T six hundred applications with the average loan amount of seventy one thousand dollars. And over uh, 10,000 uh, applications uh, from the uh, F&B and tourism and on the retail industry, the most stressed sectors. 
the unemployment is sitting at a quarter of a million. Even though you have received 10,000 applications, uh, well, I wonder is it the bank being too stringent in vetting or a uh, lack of publicity? You can see the number of applicants probably of five percent. If the scheme aims to cover 180,000, the applications are at the low side. Well, some of them uh, want to use the money to tide over. How this is not the best solution. Well, uh, we're all familiar now that uh, we always have to repay and think before you borrow. Uh, for those uh, who lost their income and were early at the bleak future and taking a bank loan put them on great stress. I know the government is well aware there will be defaults. On the default, there will be some criticism that the applicants need to go through a vetting uh, for uh, income proof and what they not, uh, and also that uh, the uh, gig workers and the freelancers can are not eligible. If this persists, I hope that you can improve the terms to widen the applicant pool. Not all unemployed will resort to borrowing. That's why the DAB uh, proposed to uh, get the economy under the woods. Besides resigning our economy, we should offer unemployment assistance. Unemployment assistance is different from an employment loan. The DAB says that unemployment assistance is really uh, for the, pu the public. The unemployment assistance is $6,000 a month at a maximum of six months at a moderate proposal. Each uh, unemployed can uh, receive uh, up to six months and talk about it costs about uh, 10 billion dollars uh, which will be uh, a timely relief for them unemployment assistance and the singapore australia and new zealand and ireland have uh, ua as well i uh, know that a lot of the ngos are also working on this on their own so that they do have some experience secretary law uh, claimed that uh, there are potential abuse for the experience working with the NGOs, we can see that we have sufficient safeguards and, and clear uh, guidelines. I wouldn't see that as a major problem and can be overcome. President, even though uh, Secretary Law is not with us today, well, uh, they claim that they, well, uh, they claim that UA payment will not end. While the loan scheme will probably stop at around uh, October 27th, so why can't we put a, apply the same to UA? The, in his blog, the secretary uh, considered or would like to be an astronaut. However, um, he was af afraid of the anti-gravity forces and could not go to uh, Pluto. Well, how can you stay on Earth and address unemployment? I consider yourself quite down to Earth. Well, it, uh, well, uh, we don't need to be a, a Uber uh, courier. However, I could we can check it up with the secretary. Secretary for Financial Services and the Treasury. President, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Poon Siu Peng who moved this motion, and also Mr. Lok Chung Hong and Mr. Winston Chang who moved amendments, so that. Uh, the Under Secretary for Labor and Welfare and I myself can listen to members' views on this important subject of rendering support to the unemployed. Since the uh, COVID-19 epidemic outbreak in early 2020, Hong Kong is in economic uh, uh, downturn and the um, job market is uh, under tremendous uh, pressure. The unemployment rate at its worst, that is uh, from the December 2020 to February 2021, was 7.2%. Uh, Faced with this situation, the financial secretary in the 2021-22 financial budget announced a 100% personal loan guarantee scheme through which we hope we can uh, provide an additional uh, supplementary financial uh, option for those who have lost their job because of the uh, epidemic so that they can uh, take, out, take, take a loan to tie over their temporary difficulties. This time-limited uh, uh, loan scheme offers preferential terms so that uh, we can provide the timely assistance to them. Anyone, any permanent uh, Hong Kong resident who, who who is over 18 uh, and who has been out of jobs for two months can apply for this loan scheme, loan guarantee scheme. And for self-employed, uh, free 
uh, pro professional self-employed people uh, as well as a casual temporary job holders can also apply if they uh, fulfill the requirements. And the participating financial organization will not uh, assess the uh, their ability to repay uh, and there's no need to satisfy any minimum credit rating or no default requirement. The maximum loan amount is $80,000, which can be repaid in six years. The borrower can choose not to repay any principal and pay interest first for the first 12 months, and then uh, the full amount repaid in subsequent five years. The interest rate is fixed at 1%. When all the uh, loan and interest are, have been repaid, the interest payment will be fully refunded to the borrower. In April, in March this year, the financial support approved this scheme, so funding application. We started to accept the uh, application from the 28th of April. This will be for six months and up to the 11th of June this year. Hong Kong Mortgage Corporation has approved 9,620 applications. The total loan amount is $690 million, averaging $71,000 per loan. This scheme is a temporary measure for a very specific uh, epidemic, and also to, is for the purpose of assisting the unemployed through various reasons. And these unemployed people need uh, support from our regular mechanism. We would uh, create more jobs, uh, adopt a multi-point approach to help uh, employees to upgrade or uh, learn new skills. We would uh, enhance our job schemes and encourage the employment of uh, people with special needs. And we also step up matching, job matching for employers and employees and also to provide financial support to families in, in, uh, in need. We have also introduced some temporary relaxation measures. For example, the Employees Re Retraining Board has uh, launched uh, a special scheme with 60,000 training places under the Love Upgrading Special Scheme. Uh, we have relaxed the working hour requirements under the Working Family in Incentive Scheme. We have, uh, for, for a limited time, waived uh, the uh, calculation of assets under CSSA, the value of uh, cash value of policies. And also, we have relaxed uh, for a limited time the uh, asset the limits for those receiving short term food relief, so as to help those in need. In the, we understand that for the unemployed, the more direct uh, support will come in the form of job opportunities through the A and AEF and job uh, preservation schemes, we have uh, providing financial support to employers to help them uh, meet the payroll costs so as to retain employees who might otherwise be uh, laid off. And $120, uh, $120 billion of uh, job preservation and uh, relief measures have been announced in 2020 to 21 budget. In the financial industry, the FSTB has been create, striving to create more jobs to help those affected by the epidemic. We have uh, established this uh, so-called first scheme, financial industry recruitment scheme for tomorrow to help the young people who are facing greater challenges in seeking jobs. And under the AEF, we have also set up the financial, the FinTech, and the epidemic scheme for talent development or FAST so as to provide jobs related to fintech, to industries uh, affected by the uh, epidemic. Apart from working with the financial sector, we're also creating jobs under the FSTB. In February, the, Hong, uh, the Census and Statistics Department uh, recruited 3,400 3, uh, temporary field work workers. We were considered the unemployed uh, we are called priority to those who are unemployed. This, they will be recruited to support the 2021 census work. And additionally, at the Treasury, ILD, Hong Kong Census and Devam Statistics Development, the Official Receiver Office, Company Registry, Government, Logistics Department and uh, Rating Evaluation Department, there will be 345 uh, time limits and new jobs in various uh, areas responsible for data collection, etc. Uh, the 
Under Secretary for uh, Labor and Welfare and I will be listening to views and then we will respond to uh, comments made by members. I will also do a sum up, summing up later. Dr. Lower Kwok, first I would like to thank Honorable Prince Yu Ping's original motion and the uh, amendments by Honorable Lok Chung Hong and Vincent Cheng. In urging the government uh, to support the unemployed and the unemployed, all sectors community, including the professionals, are very supportive. While uh, the employee and the employees are on the same boat. Hong Kong has always lacked a comprehensive employment protection system. In case of economic downturn, some of the workers uh, could not make ends meet. In the past two years, uh, the situation is more acute. Since mid-2019, Hong Kong has been prevented by the uh, Black Lives Matter riots and the COVID-19 pandemic. And the uh, Sinus U.S. Uh, trade tensions and and also at uh, the slowdown in global trade. With the economy uh, down sliding and all sectors are uh, doing it tough, the government uh, launched the employment support scheme through the anti indemnity fund. To a lot of companies and workers, such assistance simply a bucket in the ocean. As the pandemic subsides, the unemployment and the underemployment picture gradually improved. According to the Census Department latest figures, in February to April, the seasonally adjusted unemployment rate dropped to 6.4%. The unemployment rate dropped to 3.3%. Yet some of the sectors like construction, the, uh, the unemployment rate and the underemployment rate is at 10.9 and 6.5 percent, respectively, higher than the average. President, as the uh, party for uh, professionals and the business sector, the BPA has long advocated that we need to uh, support the furloughed and unemployed. And the policy address and the budget uh, proposals we submit to the CE and the financial secretary that the setting up a time limited unemployment assistance providing the unemployed an amount of no less than eight thousand dollars of cash allowance and for those in genuine hardship uh, offering a direct help and also setting aside one billion to set up a uh, as an apart from the occupation sh uh, switching to either start their own business or switch professions, the BPA is very disappointed with government ignoring our demands. However, for the 100% parity loan guarantee scheme at a ceiling of $80,000, offer a, a slight relief to workers. The BPA support this measure and see that it should be continuous, enhanced, and streamlined the application procedures and providing a timely relief for the unemployed. These measures at most uh, pro provide a band-aid uh, at the temporary relief. The fundamental solution is to uh, contain the pandemic and achieve serious infection and resume to overseas and mainland travel and reactivate our economy. Would rather teach them to fish instead of giving them a fish. Uh, uh, the key thing is to uh, get our workers back to work. In the long run, uh, the administration to continue setting up a sustainable uh, unemployment protection scheme. I still submit in supporting Mr. Pun Siu Ping's original motion as well as the amendments proposed by Lok Chung Hong and Mr. Vincent Chang. Mr. Chen Chen Ying. Hong Kong's labor market is still in a bit of winter. I would like to thank Mr. Prince original motion to spark a debate on the relief to the unemployed. The COVID-19 pandemic is ravaging the world. The International Labor Organization at last December issued a report pointing out that the COVID-19 that led the APEC region to a loss of 8.1 million jobs and different countries uh, have dispersed emergency 
and employment assistance in Singapore in year 2020-2021 uh, launch the uh, CRG COVID-19 recovery grant and the COVID-19 support grant for those uh, unemployed in age over 21 for a maximum three months uh, subsidy. And the uh, monthly amount is set at 700 Singaporean dollars at around uh, 3,940 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 15% of the median income. And Hong Kong faced a similar um, a dilemma. The year rate unemployment in 2019 is 2.9%. After last December to February, the unemployment reached a, a climb to 7.2% of 260,000 people out of a job. According to the Census Department latest figures, in the February to April seasonally adjusted unemployment rate uh, was at 6.4%. Unemployed stand at 247,000 people. The F&B industry is still at 12.1%. And f for the heart of this hits industry, a lot of the LegCo members ha have called for the government to, uh, to release an uh, unemployment assistance UA. And the government claimed that they can provide, uh, they can apply for CSA, and while the ESS had already tied the public over in tough times, on an, in any emergency UA would uh, duplicate with existing measures. Well, uh, some of the figures I mentioned uh, will have gave us some lessons. According to SWD, the at April a new applicant CSSA uh, 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 nineteen thousand in in injured one, and what an employment rate stand at, at two hundred and forty thousand people. Less than ten percent of the unemployed apply for CSSA. The low uh, app, uh, number of applications may have to do with the high threshold. One of the requirements of CSA with his family assets do not exceed the stipulated limit uh, for Singleton, the uh, three three thousand dollars to a two family household forty four thousand. Such uh, asset limits for those who was in middle positions and with some savings and yet unemployed uh, that is uh, quite a far reach. Even though the government relaxed the asset limit by by doubling it, there's still a lot of people uh, outside the safety net. And to cope with the issues uh, deal from unemployment in this year, budget financial secretary launched a hundred percent loan uh, person loan guarantee scheme to help those uh, unemployed due to COVID uh, some room to work out. Even though the the loan is capped at eighty thousand dollars, this scheme uh, uh, provide some uh, breathing room for the unemployed. The uh, scheme. Loan at interest about one percent with long repayment use repayment period of six years. If they are repaid on time, the interest will be waived. In other words, if the applicant are getting the money able to return to the labor market, uh, the burden of repayment is not excessive and will not strain their finances and also achieve the aim of alleviating their finances. However, this scheme shall end the end of October. The financial secretary in his last week uh, blog post he, he claimed the local economy gradually re uh, gained momentum. He estimated the unemployment rate can return to uh, last year levels. Uh, however, compared to uh, pre-COVID levels, uh, still some uh, room. We we'll see that employment rate would trouble Hong Kong for quite some time before the economy fully rebound. And while in the absence of a comprehensive unemployment uh, policy, I hope the government can consider a sustainable unemployment loan or at least uh, turning the current scheme to lengthen to help the unemployed workers uh, while relieving their pressure. Therefore, I support Mr. Pun Xiu Ping's original motion. I so submit. You. Mr. Yu Si Wing, Madam Deputy, under normal economic situation, uh, Hong Kong used to enjoy a very low unemployment uh, rate, uh, which is which was three percent. That is tantamount to full employment, and therefore the government has not provided much support to the unemployed. The support is provided to the uh, low-income population, and also many Hong Kong people have uh, savings. And uh, financial consultants uh, always uh, remind uh, employees uh, to have savings that could uh, last them for three to nine months, or, and so in case they uh, are unemployed, so these people can rely on savings or uh, family support to tie over the difficulties while they seek new jobs. 
if they are not very demanding, usually they will be able to find a new job. But this time, the COVID-19 epidemic uh, is a fear, it's a pandemic which has lasted for a long one and a half years. Many un unemployed people have uh, exhausted their savings. And the government uh, has uh, provided us an unemployment assistance under the CSSA. And uh, they are, they have, the government has also relaxed the asset limit, uh, the doubling the asset limit uh, for the unemployed. This is li limited to uh, one year. And also the number of applications have risen to 19,000, compare uh, an increase of 57% compared with the pre-epidemic period. This reflects that uh, the unemployed uh, is facing more and more serious financial difficulty. Madam Deputy, because of the epidemic, our economy suffered a setback, although some uh, industries have uh, recovered and the unemployment rate has been declining. But for many industries, the situation remains very bad and the unemployment rate for these industries remains high. For example, 99.9% in the service sector, including a catering industry and other consumer-related industries, the unemployment rate is 12.1%. Uh, Many people have asked uh, the government to continue with the support measures for enterprises and for job preservation so that uh, employers will get assistance to keep jobs. But unfortunately, the government is not interested in uh, launching another round of uh, supporting the enterprise uh, scheme. They are only willing to launch the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme for the unemployed. And this scheme will only last for six months. The scheme would uh, offer another option for those who are unemployed uh, uh, to get a loan. But uh, this scheme would, uh, the application for under this scheme will end in October. I urge the government to extend the duration of this 100% personal loan guarantee scheme to alleviate the pressure faced by unemployed the unemployed. In the longer term, there should be a policy on supporting the unemployed. When uh, the unemployment rate is high, for example, if it's a six percent of unemployment rate, the scheme should be triggered instead of uh, going through another complicated procedure. And the maximum loan of uh, eighty thousand dollars. Should be, should be increased. And in, to uh, prevent uh, uh, abuse, uh, then uh, the applicants should be asked to, to provide uh, their MPF uh, asset as a collateral. If they fail to repay the loan, the money can be uh, de deducted from their MPF account. Uh, this would uh, not add too much financial risk to the government while uh, increasing the support for the unemployed. Mr. Lok Chung Hong asked for a cash allowance for unemployment, but we are well. The intention is good, but I'm concerned about uh, possible abuse. And Mr. Chen asked for the uh, a comprehensive uh, unemployment. Uh, support for the unemployed. I support uh, the, all these. Ms. Alice Mack, Madam Deputy, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Poon Siu Ping for moving this uh, motion. When it comes to policy on unemployment loan, that's a ridiculous idea. Employees in Hong Kong, when they are out of jobs, are not getting support from the government. Instead, the government asked them to take out a loan. That's a serious predicament for them. Uh, Mr. Chan Chan Ying is, works in a bank. Uh, when extending a loan, the bank will certainly look at the ability to repay by the borrower. And now the government is uh, asking the banks to give them a loan. Why, why doesn't the government offer assistance to the unemployed? 
And I've heard from another member that the, the cash allowance proposed by Mr. Lok Chung Hong, uh, that is uh, with a ceiling with $9,000, may be subject to abuse. There's no need for such a concern. Since the start of the epidemic, or not last year, since uh, the violence in the community in 2019, more than, for more than one and a half years, grassroots people are, are having a hard time. Don't think that with a personal loan guarantee scheme, they will be assisted. And even there are, pe there are people who are not even qualified for the loan guarantee scheme. I remember that I did mention this to Mr. Hoy, the secretary, that uh, the scheme should be extended and also it should cover those who are underemployed, those who have low income. They're not eligible now. And I mentioned many times that there are people who used to work in the airport and uh, you know the number of uh, uh, travelers has dropped and uh, they, are, they, are, they have to find a job and they have to find some support. They used to earn uh, more than $10,000 and now what, what, what would become of them? The government doesn't provide any help. Now I like to tell my colleagues, don't be misled by the government. Don't be misled by the secretary who is of a very high IQ, but who is not very practical. There are lots of unemployment assistance schemes in the world. It's not like what Mr. Lo Chi Kuang said, that uh, the uh, employees would like to abuse the system. They just don't want that few thousand dollars. Don't let him mislead you giving the impression that people is again doling out money, being abused. Don't treat the public as being thieves. Don't treat the new arrivals as thieves. They don't really want it. Now, they want the government to resolve the economy for them. Now, you should uh, put down the pandemic so that the arrivals can come to our city. Now, people who work at the airport, I like to work uh, shifts like I used to, sleeping only a few hours a day. I don't want your unemployment assistance, which is just a few thousand dollars a month. Now, only at the wit's end would they ask for government help. Now, the FTU makes the point again, we already have an unemployment assistance scheme. For those who don't have enough work, we should provide an allowance for unemployment or uh, work being suspended. Now, the government should help the employees find new jobs. Now, the supposed to be uh, temporary jobs created. Now, we have less than half of the scheduled number. Now, we want to control the pandemic so that the arrivals into our territories can come again. We want to improve our livelihood with our hands. We don't want to abuse the government by getting those few thousands of dollars. Thank you. Mr. Paul che uh, Mr. Uh, Tony Chair, now uh, the pandemic has eased now, the unemployment rate has eased back to 6.4%, uh, but the construction rate, unemployment rate, is still double digit. It's over 10%. Now, on many occasions, I said the construction industry and the sectors that I represent, we want to see the government not directly doling out money or providing unemployment assistance. They want jobs. When they have jobs, they will be paid. They don't have to rely on the government. So I thank the CE and the financial secretary for accepting our proposal that uh, given the fiscal deficit, uh, now the government hasn't reduced the investment in infrastructure. 
Now, I chair the Public Works Subcommittee. We have uh, 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 approved over $200 billion of uh, projects since the beginning of the year. So that has offset the shrinking of uh, jobs in the private sector. Now, apart from maintaining public expenditure, the government also uh, employed a number of staff, uh, including those from my sectors, and uh, the government has uh, uh, assigned $12.6 billion over two years uh, to create uh, 60,000 jobs. The Development Bureau has introduced two rounds of schemes to subsidize private sector to uh, hire new graduates uh, and assistants to, to become assistants so that they will not uh, be unemployed when they graduate. Uh, they will not lose the opportunity to uh, assist for professional exams. Uh, 2,500 uh, young uh, employees have benefited and the companies have been relieved uh, in uh, their financial burden. Now, uh, we have to resolve the problem at its basis. We have to uh, 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 quell the pandemic. Uh, COVID uh, is difficult to prevent. The only way is to uh, raise the vac uh, vaccination rate. Uh, that's the way to uh, revive the economy and to uh, revive uh, employment. So I call upon the public to get vaccinated soon. The government should provide more explanations to encourage people to vaccinate early. Uh, it takes time. Some employees, no matter how hard they work, uh, they still will be laid off. Now, to provide these who are unemployed uh, in the short term, uh, the budget this year has provided the 100% uh, personal uh, guarantee loan scheme. I support that if the scheme operates smoothly and the economy revived steadily and the bad debt uh, rate has, uh, re uh, is not high, then I support regularizing the scheme to uh, assist those unemployed. Now, uh, for the uh, regular uh, unemployment assistance scheme, now that has been discussed in society a, a long time, but there are several key issues. For instance, who will qualify to apply? And uh, what's the amount, as we uh, discussed this time? Now, uh, how long will the assistance be available for? Now, if it's for a long time, there will be less incentive to get jobs. It might be abused. Uh, it might be a, a long-term uh, burden on the Treasury. Now, uh, if the amount is not uh, too high, and there is no uh, uh, strict uh, means test system, then, uh, well, we can go back to the 100% uh, loan guarantee scheme. That would be less costly administratively. Now, Hong Kong population is aging. Uh, the working, uh, uh, the labor force is decreasing. And uh, uh, so that's a matter of greater concern. The current uh, mandatory Providence Fund scheme is in, uh, not adequate. Uh, the CSSA, the uh, old age uh, living allowance, etc., uh, they need uh, to be reformed. Uh, all these questions have to be uh, considered. Thank you. Mr. Chen Kim Paul. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy. To relieve the um, pressure on the unemployed, the financial secretary in the uh, Budget uh, introduced the 100% uh, personal guarantee loan scheme, maximum loan $80,000 to relieve the uh, burden in the short term. Since end of May, April, over 10,000 people have applied. Right now, Hong Kong has no unemployment assistance. The financial secretary introduced the scheme in a hurry. This is very timely. The government has introduced four rounds of pandemic fund initiatives, uh, over $300 million. Uh, but this year, the pandemic is still rife, uh, but uh, the unemployment rate is still high, so there is a call for uh, emergency assistance. The government is therefore introducing the uh, provisional uh, loan scheme. Uh, 
uh, Pung Siu Peng's uh, motion calls upon uh, the uh, for the uh, unemployment assistance scheme to be introduced. I think it's timely to discuss the matter. Uh, we now have only temporary uh, solutions. Now the unemployment rate was as high as 7.2%. Uh, now uh, some uh, sectors such as uh, tourism, uh, catering, uh, the uh, retail, uh, the uh, the there were uh, large numbers of unemployed. Many people couldn't find jobs. Many are uh, uh, grassroots uh, citizens. They need uh, emergency help. So uh, we need to have a social safety, social security net. Now we do provide uh, assistance for the uh, elderly and the uh, handicapped and. Uh, uh, for those who do not qualify to, for the CSA, uh, there isn't much uh, emergency help. Now, the Hong Kong economy uh, was low uh, when the economy was doing well. Nobody thought of establishing such a system. But now we see that uh, there can be very uh, drastic situations, and we need to think how to uh, plug the gap but this involves public expenditure, and it's a long-term public expenditure. We need a broad consensus. The government should conduct an in-depth study first before making the proposal uh, on the uh, preferential scheme. Uh, now, uh, this may not be uh, very uh, foolproof. Uh, some people think that the threshold is high. Many conditions have to be met. Uh, some uh, uh, self-employed do not have uh, documents of proof. Now, uh, so uh, some people uh, uh, charge ten thousand dollars to make up fake documents for the applicants. Now, the government uh, expects an employment rate uh, ex expects a, a bad debt rate of twenty-five percent. So it's encouraging people uh, to, uh, uh, to f f fail to pay, repay. So, but there needs to be new jobs created. The pandemic is now uh, subsiding. The economy is starting to recover. Uh, the unemployment rate is improving uh, when uh, the uh, um, border, arrive, border uh, uh, restrictions are re uh, alleviated, uh, the economy will relieve further. We need to get the public to be vaccinated uh, more broadly. Uh, thank you. Golden Chow. I'm grateful to Mr. Pun Xiu Peng for moving this motion on loan policy. Now, uh, as we all know, we are very eager to deal with the unemployment problem. Since the start of the pandemic, many members in the, this council have made ample suggestions to the administration. The AB proposed setting up a loan assistance fund. And I think very earlier on, Mr. Leung Chi Cheng already proposed that uh, unemployment assistance allowance be dispersed uh, to the grassroots. Now we have revived uh, the proposal here uh, because uh, very often um, the administration would refuse to provide a regular unemployment assistance claiming that it would be financially uh, unsustainable and unaffordable. This is a usual excuse made by the administration. Allow me to give you some figures. Every year when the FS comes to the council to deliver its budget, he will give us a figure on uh, low-income earners. Those making less than $9,100 per month uh, would be uh, regarded as low-income earners. Just uh, this month, when the FS uh, came to the council, I jotted down these figures. He said that for those earning less than $1,900 a month, a numbered 140000 Now, let's say we... Uh, hand out a certain amount of allowance to these low-income earners if uh, they are unemployed or unable to fend for themselves. I think uh, it is affordable. I just want to say that it is possible uh, to, um, to, uh, to um, 
what kind of the total amount required. A compromise is the administration will not provide any unemployment assistance. Rather, uh, it is um, proposing this 100% present loan guaranteeing scheme pending the uh, establishment of an unemployment assistance scheme. The 100% personal loan guarantee scheme is important to the needy. This uh, council, uh, I mean, including myself and members, have discussed with the Hong Kong MA on the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme. Of course, the loan, a loan of eighty thousand dollars, would help her grassroots to uh, handle to tide over the difficult period. We just don't want too many obstacles to be uh, placed there. Of course, uh, the government is the guarantor here. So, uh, as and uh, and uh, this uh, will uh, enable banks to be not so strict in approving loans. However, under the scheme, uh, many members have said that uh, the uh, unemployed aside, the, those who are underemployed also warrant our attention. So I just like to um, make a note here. Uh, now I'm sure. And no one in Hong Kong would like to uh, borrow $80,000 if uh, they are not in real uh, hardship. It's just that because of the pandemic, uh, the financial situation is so bad that they need the money under the loan. Now, just now, uh, we're told that from end of April to now, 10,000 persons have already applied uh, for the loan to uh, tie over their difficult period. And because of the epidemic, I think it's time for us to review our mechanism for helping the unemployed. We are of the view that a fundamental solution is uh, to uh, enable full recovery of the economy. And this is, of course, linked to our vaccination rate. Some hotel owners have come out to say that if uh, the hotel concerned cannot attain a certain vaccination rate for its staff, it has no choice but to lay off its employees. So may I appeal to the public, for the sake of yourself and everyone in Hong Kong, do receive the vaccine. This is the way to revive our economy and the best way to tackle the unemployment problem. Thank you. Mr. Wilson O. Oh. Thank you, Madam Deputy. I speak to support Mr. Pun Xiaoping's original motion, as well as Mr. Lok Chung Hong and Mr. Vincent Zhang's amendment. Uh, that is uh, to set up a sustainable uh, loan scheme as soon as possible. Now, uh, we have uh, extended uh, the uh, protection under the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme. According to the Census and Statistics Department, half a quarter of a million are unemployed and about 130,000 persons are underemployed. A recent survey showed that about 15% of the respondents said that they were unemployed and they had on average uh, to spend uh, about half a year in order to find another job. That is a considerable period of time, and for uh, needy families and uh, unemployed, uh, this is a big problem. We don't want to see family tragedies as a result of unemployment and financial difficulties. We've learned recently from the media that uh, time is indeed difficult for many people out there. The government has proposed a, a personal loan guarantee scheme. I can uh, uh, envisage that response will be enthusiastic, but this is not something to be glad of because on the first few days, uh, 7,000 applications were received and one participating bank said the number of applications uh, was rising day by day. But this is not a pleasing sight and uh, there's certainly something, not something the um, Secretary for Labor and Welfare to be proud of because uh, this loan scheme is not a way to help the unemployed. And uh, many unemployed persons uh, take out the loan as a last resort. And it goes to show 
that the government is a slay back attitude in tackling unemployment. Many labor organizations and uh, political parties have asked the administration to improve the current uh, policy for helping the unemployed, including uh, the uh, setting up of an unemployment assistance scheme. Unfortunately, our, um, uh, our suggestions have um, um, fallen on uh, Deaf years. As a result, the government has just proposed uh, this uh, loan guarantee scheme. Actually, this is a lose lose situation. No one wants to borrow money. Given the current situation, if the governments can help the employed uh, a bit, give them a helping hand, they will feel the care from the government. Given the uh, tight financial situation, uh, the um, uh, the uh, borrowers will still have to repay their loan uh, every month, and it's very easy to give rise to domestic tragedies, and this is not something we hope to see. Once again, I urge the administration to once again consider introducing an allowance for the unemployed so as to uh, iron out the difficulties. I hope the uh, Dr. Lord Chi Kong can uh, change his mind now. Please uh, review the uh, unemployment loan and then please come up with something uh, that can be of real help to the unhelp un unemployed. I think uh, it is uh, better to uh, help them to stand on their feet rather than uh, to give them loans. And I tend to agree with Mr. Lok Chong Hong, uh, which is uh, even more aggressive than the proposal from DAB. He said that there should be immediate introduction of a cash allowance of unemployment and suspension of work subject to a ceiling of $9,000 for a six-month payment period. I think this can bring immediate relief to the public, but then we should encourage different sectors sectors in Hong Kong to encourage people to uh, be vaccinated so that uh, the catering industry, tourism industry, and different sectors, the hospitality industry, can have increased employment to help the community. Now, I think uh, we uh, should stand on the side of our people, and the government should be more pragmatic and practical in accepting suggestions from different uh, parties here. And then the government should seriously consider setting up a cash allowance for the unemployed. And this is uh, what an executive government should do. With these remarks, I support the motion. Thank you. Mr. Kwok Wai Kang. Thank you, Madam Deputy. I speak to support uh, Mr. Poon Xiuping's original motion as well as Mr. Lok Chung Hong and Mr. Vincent Chang's amendments. Mr. Poon Xiuping urges the government to formulate a sustainable policy on unemployment loan and to continue the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme. For those who have already taken out loans, this uh, will help them to transfer their loans from a uh, high interest uh, borrower, uh, a lender, to a uh, lower interest lender because uh, it's difficult to uh, be in debt. And if you have to service high interest rates, there's uh, uh, a severe blow. And of course, an employment loan is an alternative, but I must stress that the unemployment loan scheme cannot replace an, a cash allowance for the unemployment or the cash allowance for unemployment and suspension of work as suggested by Mr. Lok Chong Hong and myself. Because as we uh, said, the unemployment a uh, loan has a very high ceiling. You have uh, to uh, be employed uh, during the period uh, from the first of from uh, January 2020 to February 2021. You have to show your wage slips to show that you were once employed. But as many uh, employees, especially those from the tourism sector, were already out of job prior to 20. 
20 during the black violence in 2019. And for uh, companies or employees of uh, companies that uh, filled it after February 2021, they cannot obtain any help. So it's doubtful as to whether this scheme can really help the unemployed. There are lots of um, commercials on TV uh, on uh, uh, from uh, um, finance companies, and they always have uh, this warning, borrow only if you can repay the loan. Now, for the unemployed, uh, do they have any confidence to take out loans? Are they capable of repaying the loans? It's all about confidence and also projection for the future. If a, the, an employed person expects that he will uh, be employed again uh, the next month or very soon, then he will be confident enough to take out a loan to help him. But if there is no hope at all for uh, the sector he engages in to revive, he dare not take out any loans because he doesn't know whether he can repay the debt. Of course, the government is saying that we give you a 100% guarantee, but... It would affect the credit rating record of uh, the um, a borrower, borrower. And if he has uh, this poor credit record, and if he has the need to borrow money from a bank again in the future, he may not be able to succeed. So there can be profound and long-term impact on him. So it's not that the loan scheme is no good, but there are too many restrictions and it's not really too much supported by the unemployed. Uh, we have an unemployed uh, uh, population of 20, 220,000, but only a few thousand applications. When it comes to helping the unemployed, we do not just provide loans. It's about uh, the um, um, structure of our economy. Of course, the epidemic is partly to blame, and we cannot blame our employees because uh, the pandemic is not of their making. Many economies around the world have seen uh, their services industry badly hit the tourism and hospitality industry, but for financial services sector and employees of high education, they are not that much affected. Our greatest worry is after the epidemic, the wealth gap will become bigger. The rich will become richer and the poor the poorer. So to resolve the uh, wealth gap in Hong Kong, it will be even more challenging. I urge the administration to uh, promote uh, vaccination and help all sectors uh, to revive their operations so that our economy can recover. Thank you. Dr. Chen Xiong Tai. Madam Deputy, this is a motion debate on policy on unemployment loan. For the original motion and the motions as amended, um, the wording is rather problematic. I wonder whether um, it was the intent of the respective members or whether um, it was the view shared by the Secretariat. The phrase, a sustainable policy on unemployment loan in itself is problematic. An unemployment no loan is never sustainable from the perspective of the government or the public. As loan provider, the, the government would the government provide a central fund, or would this be made a regular arrangement? So, in terms of the wording of the motion, um, I think it is rather ambiguous, since the concept of a sustainable policy on unemployment loan in itself is problematic. But regardless, in terms of unemployment assistance, this time of the year, um, last time, I have commented on the anti-epidemic fund. I talked about housewives, family, carers,
and people um, who could be defined as unemployed, but um, might in effect um, whose work is never um, visible. I wonder whether members have looked into the um, actual arrangements or provisions for the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme um, proof that a person has been unemployed in the last two months must be produced. So in terms of design, um, the government has started the work, but the requirement is actually unreasonable. Many people cannot show the relevant proof due to the nature of their work or trade. While some people do not have salary proof, for instance, um, day workers, casual workers, or slashers, they can never so show such proof. And um, alternatively, they have to show proof that they have been um, terminated. But by the time they can produce that paperwork, they might have secured a new job already. Unemployment assistance should only be part of our policy against poverty, but the picture now is certainly not very positive. I, whether you have visited um, PMQ or the um, more upscale shops, for those in the middle and upper echelon of our society, they have been getting on just fine. Um, the sales revenue of upmarket stores um, have been doing very well in recent times, and um, that is an indication of the structure of our society. We do not have a monetary policy on the Hong Kong dollar, and the working poor has been suffering as much as the unemployed. So far, we have not um, seen any um, drastic termination to um, production chains or manufacturing chains, but we are likely to see that later this year. We need to satisfy the basic needs for grassroots families. That is why we must um, regularize the food bank arrangements. And in the coming policy address and budget, while well, I believe there will not be wholesale changes, um, you, you can only rely on subsidized housing and CSSA. Mr. Peter Xiu. Madam Deputy, this is a motion debate on policy on unemployment loan as proposed by Mr. Pun Xiuping. The government rolled out the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme or PLGS and um, the public realizes that the government is supporting individuals and not only enterprises and this is certainly the right way to go. In the backdrop of the pandemic, many enterprises have faced difficulties and the government has formulated a number of funds and policies to support enterprises. And the 100% guarantee scheme has allowed um, enterprises to pay back the loan in as long as eight years so that they can pay salaries and retain jobs. And this is certainly an excellent policy. When I first met the financial secretary in early 2020, when the pandemic first started, um, it was one of the requests from outside. 
And um, as Mr. Vincent Fang said, when the pandemic started, um, many enterprises would go under. Um, if the 80% or 90% guarantee scheme is not extended to 100%, so it was certainly a good move from the government. Last year, the government um, rolled out a 100% guarantee scheme for enterprises as well as the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme. Individuals can take out a loan of up to $80,000 if they are unemployed. So this is akin to the um, guarantee scheme for enterprises. We really ought to support individuals and not just enterprises. Last year, the government ordered different premises to suspend operation. And as such, many employees were forced to go on unpaid leave and some were even unemployed. And um, they had to live on their savings. Many people um, told me that they um, could not take out um, loans anymore. And um, they were almost re resorting to loan sharks. So thankfully, the government has implemented measures to um, help with the liquidity or cash flow situation of, of individuals. And um, Mr. Michael Locke proposed a cash allowance for the unemployed subject to a ceiling of $9,000 for a six-month payment period. The Liberal Party uh, was against the idea of an unemployment assistance, but um, now we believe a short-term assistance um, would be helpful to them. Mr. Lok mentioned that this would be an interim measure and our party sides with him. As for Mr. Vincent Chang's amendment, he talked about conducting a study on the arrangement for an unemployment assistance. And um, as the Liberal Party said before, the CSSA um, has in place an unemployment assistance. We have our reservations towards an introduction of a separate unemployment assistance. The government has been encouraging people um, to fight for themselves, and as such, the Liberal Party would not support the motion as amended by Mr. Vincent Chan. Does any other member wish to speak? If not, I would invite Mr. Pun Xiuping to speak. You may now speak on the amendments. Mr. Pun Xiuping, thank you. Madam Deputy, I thank members for speaking on the motion. For Mr. Vincent Chang's motion, um, the proposed amendment is in line with my original motion, and as such, I support the motion as amended by Mr. Chang. As for the motion as amended by Mr. Michael Lok, even though the amendment um, expands the scope of the unemployment assistance, but as a member of the labor sector, I would support any measures that support the grassroots, and as such, I would support both amendments. Under Secretary for Labor and Welfare. Thank you. Madam Deputy, I'd like to thank Mr. Pun Xiuping for proposing the motion, as well as the motions as amended by Mr. Michael Lok and Mr. Vincent Chang, as well as the comments of 11 members. I will speak from a labor and welfare perspective. Thank you. As the pandemic eases in Hong Kong, we've seen improvement in the labor market. This is the adjustment and unemployment rate uh, in between February to April this year fell by 0.4% to 6.4% compared to the same period, compared with the period's three-year period, and an underemployment rate fell by 0.5% to 3.3% during the same period. 
the um, total number of unemployed persons uh, rose by 7,900 to 3.622 million dollars, and the number of unemployed fell by 12,300 to 247,500 persons. At the same time, the Labor Department recorded 84,450. Eight vacancies in the private sector in May uh, up 10 percent and 34.5 percent, respective, compared with April and May last year. As said by the uh, SF uh, Secretary for FST in the opening remarks, the government has adopted a multi pronged approach to help the grassroots uh, to. Um, face up to the hardship. We have uh, provided more opportunities, enhanced the employability of employees, provided job matching for employees and employees, and to provide financial assistance for the unemployed and their families. Now, let me highlight the salient points first is the CSSA. The CSSA has all along played its role as a safety net to how people cannot fend for themselves and to ensure that the basic needs are met. In the past year or so, the number of uh, unemployed cases under CSSA rose markedly. In April 2019, uh, the figure stood at 19,801, about 60% higher than what it was in early 2020. Uh, Mr. Ronick Chen said that the threshold for receiving CSSA was a bit high. During the pandemic, the government has provided uh, temporary relief of uh, the eligibility criteria so that for able body applicants, uh, their assets, um, the uh, asset limit has been waived. Now, during the 1st of April 2021 to the 30th of September, in the same year, all the uh, cash value of the policy schemes will not be taken into account in the means test. In order to help the unemployed or underemployed, the government has got funding support from the Finance Committee. Signed from the 1st of June this year, we have relaxed the um, asset limit for receiving short term food assistance so that it will be on par with the uh, as a limit for those receiving working family assistance, and an extra 120,000 people can benefit, and uh, the total expenditure will be $430 million. Uh, take a 4P household as an example. The as a limit will be raised from uh, 264000 to $548,000. Now, the purpose of working family assistance is to help people who work full time but very long hours. Now they are low income earners and they are not receiving CSSA, and we want to give them different levels of assistance uh, based on how hard they are working. So, in view of the pandemic, the government has lowered the requirements for non single parent households under the scheme including substantially lowering the basic working hours from 144 hours per month to 72, and the number of hours for WFA medium allowance from 168 hours to 132, in order to allow more low-income households to continue to be eligible for applying WFA and to allow some existing beneficiaries to receive a high allowance. Take a 4P family as an example. If the monthly total income is less than $31,000 and uh, if the asset is lower than $548, they will still be eligible. And to continue to support employees affected by economic hardship, the government has invited the Employees Retraining Board to launch Phase 4 of the Love Upgrade Special School Scheme after the completion of Phases 2 and 3. And then it will last for three years, and um, another 20,000 um, trainee places will be available, and they will also receive an allowance during the training. And, and ELB has also enhanced their program to provide more choices of training courses. Some of them are available online so that 
members can engage in distance learning. And because of uh, the worsening employment situation, the Labor Department has already enhanced the cash allowance available under the Employment Program for the Elderly Middle Aged um, Youth Pet, and also a special scheme for uh, the disabled to encourage employees to provide in-service training for um, these categories of employees. The Labor Department has also provided a retention allowance for eligible elderly persons, young persons, and persons with disabilities to encourage they could keep their jobs after the training. During the three-year trial period, if these employees stay in their position for three months, they will be given an allowance of $3,000 for every a month they stay on in their job, they can get an extra $1,000 until they've completed the 6 to 12 months training program. The Labor Department has also stepped up liaison with employers planning to recruit staff, and they uh, have helped to source for vacancies, and then they at uh, the um, recruitment centers and employment centers, they are uh, holding different uh, recruitment fair to help people from different walks of life to seek job. Now for Mr. Luke Chun Hong's proposal uh, to uh, set up an allowance scheme for unemployment and suspension of work, and also Mr. Vincent Jack's proposal to set up an employment protection system. Now the Secretary of Labor World Bear has stated on various occasions that the government noted the aspirations for members and also shared with members the government's analysis and views and position on such a proposal. Now uh, we use long service payment or severance pay as a basis to provide to help the unemployed. We've also got um training for uh, job seekers and also uh, training allowance. This is a three-pronged approach. After years of adjustment improvement, uh, Hong Kong is uh, doing quite well in helping the unemployed. We do not have a pay as you earn taxation system or a, a social security system that is con contributory in nature or central product fund. And uh, about 40% of the employees' information are not kept by the government. And we, if we set up a non-contributory with no asset tests, um, unemployment assistance scheme, this will uh, give rise to moral assets and will bring uh, long-term implications for our public finances. Whether it be time limited or unlimited, there will be difficulties in the operation. And we may have to consider together with our LSP and SP system, and we need a very serious and detailed discussion with the community. With the community. Any proposal in this regard may impact on the government's consideration to abolish the offsetting system under the MPF system. The government will continue to strive to control the pandemic and revive the recovery, the economy. If um, members of the public are widely vaccinated, this will help to stabilize the pandemic situation. And then we will be in a position to set up air um, a vaccine um, a bubble, and this will gradually help to really to um, remove the social distancing measure and uh, some of the restrictions on social and economic activities. And so our economy can gradually improve and likewise our unemployment rate. So uh, we will continue to keep an eye on the situation. Thank you. Secretary for Financial Services and the Treasury. Once again, I'd like to thank Mr. Pun Peng, Mr. Michael Dog, and Mr. Vincent Chang for the original motion and motions that amended, as well as the views of other members. As the Under Secretary for Labor and Welfare suggested, unemployment support um, is a key policy area, and I'd like to respond to views on the 100% personal loan guarantee scheme. The setting up of a time-limited 100% personal loan guarantee scheme, or PLGS, is to provide an extra supplementary financing option for individuals who lost their main recurrent incomes from employment due to COVID-19 and to tide 
over the temporary difficulties. Some members pointed out that the government should relax the application threshold for the scheme as a temporary alleviation measure and extend the application period. I'd like to stress that the PLGS is a time-limited temporary measure and we have sought to streamline the design of the scheme and lower the application threshold for the self-employed freelancers, gig or temporary workers who can produce an employment declaration or demonstrate loss of main recurrent incomes, they would be eligible since the applications are, or since the scheme is still open to applications, we will review the results of the scheme when appropriate. As Hong Kong's pandemic situation eases and with the relaxation of social distancing measures, Hong Kong's economy, which has taken a hard hit over the past year and a half due to COVID, have been picking up momentum. GDP has gradually resumed growth, and we are happy to see that unemployment has improved. Even though we are still far from the pre-epidemic levels, but with the local pandemic coming under control, the labor market could see an improvement going forward. As many members pointed out, improving the unemployment protection regime is the obligation of the government. The PLGS is a time-limited temporary measure and it cannot replace our regular support for the unemployed. We will continue to enhance support for individuals who are unemployed due to different reasons to the current system. As the Under Secretary of Labour and Welfare just said, we have a series of recurrent unemployment support schemes such as the Comprehensive Social Security Allowance, the Short-Term Food Assistance Service Projects, Working Family Allowance Scheme, Retraining Programs, Unemployment employment Support Services, etc. As the Under Secretary said, we will continue to adopt a multi-pronged approach in supporting the unemployed. Secretary, COVID-19 has presented unprecedented challenges for Hong Kong's economy and our people and to truly help the unemployed. Um, we must continue to control the pandemic and trigger a resumption of our economy. We will continue to restart the economy, create employment opportunities, introduce training and retraining opportunities, and provide needy support for those affected by COVID-19. We will be rolling out the electronic consumption vouchers to create positive consumption sentiments and as such um, businesses could also benefit and the same for our economy. Once again, I urge everyone to work together and participate in the vaccination program to create favorable conditions to resumption of our life and travels and to resume the flow of visitors and business between Hong Kong and the mainland and other countries and this would help the um, resumption of consumption and other economic activities. I now invite Mr. Lok Chong Hong to move his motion. President, I move my amendment. I propose a question to you that Mr. Michael Lok's amendment be passed. I now put the question to you as stated. Will those in favour please raise their hands? A division is claimed by Mr. Lok. The bell will ring for five minutes.
Hot Chip Ukraine. Please proceed to vote. Please verify the vote. If no questions, voting stops. The results played. 22 present, 16 4, 5 abstention from the GCs, 17 2 4, 2, two abstentions. The question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups' members present. I declare the mo motion amendment passed. Ms. Dari Lee. President, I move that the motion or the amendment should uh, a division be claimed, the division bill shall ring for one minute. Those in favour, please raise their hands. Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by each of majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendment passed, motion passed. I order that when there is a division bell, uh, division uh, later, the division bell shall ring for one minute. Mr. Lok Chung Ho, uh, please um, move your amended motion. I, I move my amended motion. Mr. Vincent Chang, the Mr. Vincent Chang's, uh, I have Agree. I, I think the agree question is agreed by a majority of users, two groups of members present. I declare the amendment passed. Mr. Fun Xiuping, you have uh, two minutes, uh, 57 seconds. Uh, to, if, after that, the motion will come to a close. I believe members are aware of the contents of my motion, so I do not to use up all the remaining time I ask members to support my amendment. I now put the question to you is that the Mr. Fu Xiu Ping's motion as amended by Mr. Lok and Mr. Vincent Chang be passed. Uh, I believe the question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amended motion passed. Motion now, the, the, uh, we now adjourn uh, the, uh, the uh, Meeting shall resume.